Game set! The referee's call rang out to the court as soon as the ball I hit got caught in the net. I ran around the court covered in mud and sweat, but the game ended in a 0-4 loss for us. I, Yuma Asagiri's last tournament in junior high, ended with the worst record yet with a 32nd place finish in the prefecture. Damn. This is the end. So that's all you got after all. Hanasaki. You can't win against me. That's clear now. Uh, huh. You can't even talk back. Looks like you're totally soaked in your loss. Hanasaki said that much and left. There's nothing I could do. I guess I'll quit playing tennis. After that day, I put down my racket. About a year later. Asagiri-kun, have you thought about what I said? For some reason, I was being followed by a small upperclassman named Mizuzu Hanazaki. Told you already, but I don't want to. Why not? Pair up with me. Let's play in the mixed doubles tournament together. I can't play in the tournament! I don't play tennis anymore. Um... Please don't sulk. Asagari-kun, you're mean. I'm not mean. Please? Uh... I want to play in the tournament with you, Asagari-kun. Who taught you how to talk like that? Don't worry about the details. Just come to the tournament with me. Please? Uh... No matter how many times you ask, my answer won't change. Can you at least come and watch me practice? Or is that a no, too? Uh... Oh... Okay. I can watch you practice. Really? Yes! I'm just going to watch. I won't join the practice or anything. Yeah, sure. Well then, I'll see you after school. Hanasaki waved her hand with a smile and left. Come on, let's go! Let's go! After school, I had to come to observe the girls' soft tennis team practice as I was told. However, I was naturally observing the practice from a hidden spot because the students around me would look at me quizzically if I were proudly watching the girls practice. Omnicourt. As expected of a powerhouse school that's a regular participant in the Nationals. The level is very high. This school is a private school that is well known throughout the country. I picked this school because they don't have a men's soft tennis team. That's a strange thing. Oh, I found a boy full of excitement. Uh, no, um, th th this is not what you think. You're Yuma Asagiri, a first year student? She knows my name? I'm Asakura Shizuka, second grade homeroom teacher and soft tennis club advisor. Well, why don't you come to the staff room with me for now? By the way, do I get to make any excuses? I guess not. You're kidding! Oh no, I can't shake my arm off at all! She looks thin, but she's so powerful! All right, let's go to the staff room without any unnecessary resistance. Wait a minute, I really wasn't doing anything suspicious. I just came to watch because Hanasaki-san invited me! <laughs> huh? Sorry, I didn't expect you to be that desperate. Were you teasing me? <laughs> because you've been sneaking around, hiding behind buildings. I felt like being a little mean when I saw that. Uh, unbelievable! Oh well, it's fine. More importantly, if you came here to watch the practice, you have to watch it properly. I'm sorry, but you interrupted me! Oh, so you say. No wonder Misusu takes a liking to you. What is that? <laughs> oh, looks like they're about to start volley practice. Huh. What's wrong? No, it's just that Hanasaki-san seems to be good at volleying. What makes you think that? The posture. The basic stance of the net player is to lift the racket higher than the net. In theory, a volley is successful as long as it returns to the opponent's court, so everyone lifts the racket higher than the net. This allows the player to enter the volley with just a slight movement of the racket and the fewer movements required, the less room for error. But Hanasaki-san had her racket down to her navel. Same as your stance, right? 
I see. So this person knows about me from before. A lot of instructors teach you to hold your racket higher than the net. But the truth is, it's easier to catch the ball if you hold your shoulders relaxed like that. You don't teach others like that, do you? They're all kids who've been playing since elementary school, so they already have a solid form. They're good at volleying, so I try not to mess with it. Huh. So you don't force them to change if they don't want to. First glance, it looks like she's letting them be free, but in reality, she's quite strict. Then I watch Hanasaki-san and the others practice. Well, I'm gonna leave now. I was about to leave when I realized I didn't need to watch the practice matches that were about to start. There's things you can only learn by watching a match, you know? It's not like I'm gonna pair up with her, so two hours of watching should be enough, right? Well, well, wait a minute. I'm sure Misuzu wanted you to see her skills, but I think the match is what you really need to see. No, it's none of my business. No? Are you sure? I'm going to tell your homeroom teacher that you've been spying on the girl's practice. What? That's not fair! But it's true, isn't it? It's only because she asked me to watch. <sighs> okay, fine. I gave up and watched Hanasaki-san's match. But to be honest, I had an idea of how the match was going to unfold. And the result was as expected. Hanasaki's pair lost badly. The cause is on Hanasaki-san. That's enough. Why don't you stop playing front already? S sorry Don't be sorry. You're too small. You should put yourself in the shoes of someone who has to run. Hanasaki-san, who is short, can get away with the high lobs, but not the medium ones that fall quickly. That's why the baseline player was running so much which made her lose temper. Are you sure you don't want to stop them? I understand how she feels, but it's not nice to lash out at your partner, is it? That girl won't do it in front of me since I've warmed her so many times. But when I'm not there, she berates her like that. She's still a student, so she can't control herself. Uh, What a shame. Is this really a strong school? From the looks of it, the others seem to be thinking the same way, too. Club members are looking at Hanasaki-san with the same aggressive glare, rather than putting a stop. I realize even if I didn't want to, what kind of position she was in at the club. That's why she wants to pair up with me in the mixed doubles tournament instead of playing with the girls. That's not true. Huh? That girl wants to play in a tournament with you because she thinks you can make up for her shortcomings. It's not because she wants to run away from them. She wants to team up with you because she wants to win. You're quick to react and fast on your feet, right? Uh, she knows me well. She's seen you play as a baseline player before. Besides, you came to the school despite not having a men's soft tennis club. Misuzu was happy. She said it was fate, right? No one who knows your track record would think you would choose an environment where you can't play soft tennis. But I... You know how Masuzu feels. You've experienced the same pain, right? Can't you help her? Uh... She has the talent to become a top athlete. She just hasn't found the right person to make the most of it. You can save her. But I... didn't stand a chance as a baseline player, though. Your weakness as a baseline player, your lack of decisiveness, can be compensated by Misuzu. She's a genius at volleying. Uh... But you know, that's not the only reason I'm counting on you. If you and Misuzu team up, you two have enough to become the top players in Japan. It's easier said than done. Fine. You can think like that now. But can you go to the tournament with Misuzu just once? If you give me a chance, I'll prove to you and everyone else that you two can do it. That you guys can make it to the top. I was told that, and I was to enter the competition under the condition that I would only enter once. After school the next day... Hey, why is he here? I heard him and Hanasaki are teaming up for a tournament. What? What is that coach thinking? That's such an important time. But it's no different even without Hanasaki. No, it's not that. He's just getting in the way of practice. Who is that? He's a first-year student who joined this year. Look, it's Asagiri Yuma two years below. Ah, that former genius. I don't know what the coach is expecting from him now. He already fell off, right? I heard he switched to baseline, but it didn't work out. Huh. 
There's no point in getting any hopes up. Just like that, they were not welcoming at all. Asking me to play in an atmosphere like this? That coach is a devil. But... Thanks, Asagiri-kun. Coming out to practice and all. I thought it would be okay to help someone who smiles like that. And then I joined the practice with the girls. Misuzu, Asagiri-kun, can I have a word? We were called in by the coach. Coach, what? <laughs> I thought I'd give you two the greatest weapon. Is she really this flippant even during practice? Is this school really a powerhouse? I thought so, but after a few minutes, my mind was changed. I see. That would be very good indeed. Anasaki-san was very excited when she heard from the coach about the most powerful weapon. Right? It's something that many of Japan's top-class athletes are doing now. But, on the contrary, I only see top-level players doing it. It's too difficult. I have no doubt that if you guys practice starting now, you'll get it. Unless you master this, it will be impossible for you to win the next tournament. After all, all of the Japanese representatives for each generation in the prefecture are going to be there. This mixed doubles tournament was just created, and the purpose of it is to give high school students experience since there'll be mixed doubles at the Asian Games and other events. That's why the players who are selected as representatives of different generations are forced to participate. However, the number of representatives for each generation in the prefecture is small to begin with, and this year, there are only four in total. However... So, Hanasaki's gonna show up. Shota Hanasaki. The guy who I have a history with is definitely going to be in the next tournament, since he was selected as a representative for his generation. Speaking of which, Hanasaki's son has the same last name. Ah, it's probably just a coincidence. They don't look alike in height or appearance at all. Um... After that, in addition to regular practice, we started practicing the most powerful weapon that the coach told us to use. And finally, the day of the tournament arrived. At the tournament, the level of the players is not so high, except for the players who have been selected as representatives of their generation and their counterparts. All the strong players like the upperclassmen at my school would probably only focus on the individual and team competitions in the regular tournament. Thanks to this, we were winning steadily as I ran frantically at the back and kept rallying while Hanasaki-san adopted the strategy of volleying the ball hit from the opponent who lost their nerves. Huh? Where did Hanasaki-san go? We should be winning on the bench by now. Don't say that. We've been winning. Hmm? Is that Hanasaki-san? Is she in some kind of trouble? I ran towards the voice. And then... You can't win with your game. The only reason you're winning now is because your opponents are weak. That's not true. Well, you'll have to face reality in the next semi-final. Hanasaki? Why is Hanasaki with Hanasaki-san? Oh, Asagiri-kun. Oh, it's you. I hear you're still playing tennis. Huh. It's as if you two are licking each other's wounds. I told you it's not like that. Don't be so mean. Huh. Either way, you'll end up losing us in the next semi-final. Let me give you a reality check. Hanasaki-san. Were you related to him after all? He, yeah, he's my little brother. Younger brother? Hanasaki? I'm sorry, he said a lot of bad things about you too. He's had a twisted personality ever since elementary school. No way. I didn't think it was impossible for them to be relatives. I never would have guessed it was her brother. He's saying such horrible things to his own sister. Could it be that the real reason you wanted to enter the mixed doubles tournament was? Yeah, sorry. I wanted to prove him wrong. I see. M more importantly, let's get to the courts. We need to wait on the bench, right? Right. Let's go. I can't lose this match. Then we headed to the court and the semifinals began. We were against Hanasaki and his partner. Hanasaki's partner is a girl named Shiroma Hiragi who was also selected as a representative of her generation. I know her because we were on the same team back when we were juniors. She's an extraordinary girl who hits a powerful fastball that doesn't match her thin appearance. 
Don't think you're gonna get past me with your hits. Uh. Ha! You can't even say anything back. Hanasaki-kun, you're talking too much. You'll look weak if you bark too much, you know. Eh? Uh? Hiragi! I never thought I'd see the day I'd go against you. It's an honor. Huh? Oh, uh... Let's have a good game. Yeah. Um... Hi Hiragi! Are you trying to betray me? It's manners to exchange greetings with your opponent. Hanasaki-kun, you're so loud all the time. Y you These two get along? Seven game match. Play! After the ref calls, I set up my serve. Hmm. Cut serve? Hey! The serving net player is down to the service line! C could it be? I... I knew it! It's a double forward! Seriously? That's a double-edged sword! The double forward is the most powerful attacking formation when mastered. But it is also a formation that lacks so much stability that it can be called the weakest if played with half-hearted ability. That's why only top-level players take this formation. That's what we were doing now. Uh, all right, got it. Uh, run it, Dolly, from there. As Hanasaki-san jumped out in front of me, the two surprised opponents stiffened, and Hanasaki-san's volley was set beautifully. Damn it! What's going on? They were in a normal formation until the last match. It seems they were hiding it until this game. This is pretty nasty. Huh. They're just trying to intimidate us. The double forward isn't that easy to pull off. Did you forget who you're dealing with? Asagari-san is a prodigy who won the National Elementary School Soft Tennis Tournament three years in a row, from fourth grade to sixth grade, with his extraordinary volleying sense. His height may be his one weakness, but his volley sense remains the same. Huh. <laughs> We're the all-conference champions! We can't lose to a guy who fell off! Don't aim at Asagiri-san for now. Your sister is a nuisance when it comes to volleys, but she's not as good as Asagiri-san. Shut up! Don't give me orders! We'll lose? Huh? If you underestimate those two, we'll lose for sure. Uh, they're arguing over there. It must be humiliating for Shochan. I think Shochan's receive will be aimed at you, Yuma-kun. I'm sure he will. He hates losing. <laughs> he seems to have a deep-seated grudge from losing so many times in junior high and elementary school. No wonder I was a target in junior high. Then, as expected, every time I served... Who do you think you are? What? Were you not listening to me? His ego's too big. There's no way you would listen to Hiragi-san's advice. He put a low volley right at Hanesaki's feet. That guy is so good. That's Asagiri, the old-time champion. Beating him won't be easy. I don't know who's gonna win now. Uh. What are you doing? Although it's a low volley, we'll have no chance if you let him touch it. Well then, aim for sis. I mean, Miss Suzu. Huh? She may not be getting the results, but she's really good too. As Hanasaki-san served, Hiragi-san returned to cut serve for a short cross. But then, Hanasaki-san angled the ball even more and decided to short cross it. What was that angle? How could she aim like that? That small girl is good too! Small? Hanasaki-san got a little grumpy at the audience's words, but we were taking control of the flow. Then, with nowhere else to hit, the opponent went for our weak point, which was the head. After we started practicing this formation, that devilish coach made me practice smashes like crazy! Devilish coach? They won't get through, it's from the service line! I was able to get Hanasaki-san to hit all of her lobs with the emphasis on the course of the smash, which caused them to lose control, and she was able to score most of the balls they returned. Thanks to this, our opponents, who now had even less room to hit, began to make mistakes and we beat the leading pair of candidates for the championship 4-0. Incredible! They beat the Hiragi and Hanasaki pair! They're both small, but make for an amazing pair! Enough about the size! <laughs> I'm beat! I knew it! You're amazing! 
No, it was just luck. Mm, you're fawning over her. Hanasaki-san! Why are you angry? Nothing. <laughs> I don't approve. I'll never approve of this! Sho-chan? I'm sorry. I'll make sure to tell him. <laughs> He's my brother. I'll tell him myself. More importantly, Hiragi-san, let's play again. Yes, I'd like that too. Besides, I don't want to lose to you. Huh? Mood got a little scary at the end, didn't it? Y yeah I, I don't want to lose either. Well, no one wants to lose a game. That's not what we're talking about. Huh? No, it's nothing. More importantly, thank you, Asagiri-kun. It's the final next. Let's win for sure. Oh, yeah. In the finals, the guy was the representative of his generation again. But we were able to win comfortably after feeding Hanasaki and his team. The result of this tournament made Hanasaki's teammate recognize her and apologize to her properly. After this tournament, I started playing soft tennis again and played in many mixed doubles tournaments with Hanasaki-san. We won all the tournaments using both the normal formation and the double forward, and our name became famous all over the country. Hanasaki-san, or Misuzu-san, and I became closer as a pair, and we ended up dating. The backstory is that Hanasaki was furious because he actually had a sister complex. Apparently, Hanasaki was a tsundere and actually loved Misuzu-san. <laughs>